Before I start this video, I just want to say I'm sorry that I haven't been posting recently. I've actually been moving and I have like really intense summer camps. I'll be trying to be more consistent from now on, but thank you for your patience and I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own personalized aesthetic clothing template for you to use. And I've gotten a lot of requests for this one, so I hope you enjoy and make sure to subscribe. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up Pixar E. Pixar E is an online editing platform that's completely free to use, and it's really easy to use as well. Then on the left, click the template option, and then use the arrow on the right to find the Roblox template. And if you scroll down, you can see that Pixar E actually made their own Roblox clothing, which is kind of weird. Um, keep scrolling until you find this template on the bottom. And as you can see, this is just a basic clothing template, so in order to spice things up, go to Pinterest.com and then search up whatever keywords you want to find. Right click the image and then click copy image. Then go back to Pixlr E and then either Ctrl V or Command V to paste the image. Then drag that layer underneath the template layer. And then using the marquee select tool, outline the boxes where it should be transparent. So as you can see, I'm doing right here and then hit delete once you've selected the part. Make sure to be very precise as even the tiniest like difference in the boxes can lead to Roblox not accepting your shirts. And one hack that I found to try to make this easier is once you've already outlined a certain box, you can drag that outline using the marquee select tool and just drag it to a different part of the template. And that is the same exact size that you should use, as you can see I'm doing here. And now you can just delete the template layer altogether. Here I'm adding text that says my username and also do not steal and you can use the same method that I'm using to edit my text. And you can see that I'm using the gradient tool and the outer glow tool. Next, I'm just finding some cute PNGs online that match the theme of my template and you can do the same thing. One hack that I found for finding actual PNGs instead of these kind of pictures is to, when you're searching, make sure to click the tools button on the right, go to color, and then transparent. And these just make sure that all of the pictures are actually transparent. Then just copy and paste that image to your new template. And lastly, I am editing the background image to look more vibrant. And here's my final product. I hope you guys made really good ones and learned a lot from this video. And if you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to comment down below because I always answer all the questions. Thank you so much for watching this video and stick around for the next one. Bye!